இன்றைக்கு பொழுது
Sunday 30th of June. He speaks to you in strict language. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. John 10, 27. Often times when the same Lord spoke to us, does those who wonder what language does he speak, they want to know how they too can hear God. God is a spirit, and He speaks to you, or uh, speak to you, your spirit. What you have to learn is to listen to Him with your heart, your spirit. Being born again and having received the Holy Spirit, you are one with the Lord. He has come to dwell within you and has mingled with your spirit. The Bible says, but he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. First Corinthians 6 17. Thus his voice in your spirit will be unmistakable. All you have to do is listen from within. He knows every language. He can talk to you in any language. The most important thing about God speaking to you is in the language. He spoke, it's whether your spirit received the words, he speaks to you in spirit language because he talks to your spirit. Your mind is what relates with language. Language is created in sound for your intellect. But what is in the mind? Neither does he appeal to your mind. He doesn't need your reasoning faculties to communicate with you. As a result, he doesn't need to put his message in a language for your intellect. When he speaks to you in any human language, if you don't receive a message from your spirit, it may have no impact or meaning. It has to get your spirit. If you only got the words in your mind, you may even forget what he said, but your spirit can remember. Moreover, when God speaks to you, your spirit will at once light up and bear witness that he is the one talking to you. It's like what Jesus said in our opening verse, my sheep hear my voice. Train your spirit to be a sure guide and a dependable, receptable of God's words and signals. Activate your spirit by speaking in tongues frequently. Also, it's very important that you learn the word of God because he never says anything outside his word. Praise God. Prayer. Dear Father, I thank you for the ability to hear and recognize your voice. As you speak to me from the word of God and counsel me from within, I respond to your guidance promptings and instructions and receive the corresponding blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to say a few words uh, on the Holy Spirit that uh, dwells in me. What is Holy Spirit? Why do we need Holy Spirit? The indwelling of the Holy Spirit in every obedient believer in Jesus Christ is clearly told in the gospel. The purpose of the Holy Spirit's indwelling may be summarized in four blessings, each starting with S, letter S. To sanctify us, to strengthen us, to speak for us, and to seal us. So the Holy Spirit is necessary for us to protect you and strengthen you, and also it gives peace for you. So you don't have to be like when you get into the level of uh, you know, seeing the blessing or up to the level of the um, God's spirit, so you are in that level so that you can, or the Holy Spirit can talk on your behalf with the Father. So that's what we call the Holy Spirit. And some preachers say the Holy Spirit comes with sounds and leaves quietly. That's wrong. The Bible definitely says that the Holy Spirit should never leave you. It stays permanently. So we believe that and, uh, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. So just trust and believe it. Amen. Amen.